Hello. Start. Yes, I, I will talk about possible Luwian settlements in the North Asian, uh, in Turkey and Anatolia. First method, I use archaeology, social, linguistic, onomastic, religion, and toponyms. These all of them give us uh, many hints about the Northeastern. It is fascinating to observe that after 5,000 years, many toponyms on the Northeastern part of Asian coast were still are based on Luwian words and sounds. How? This is a map of Mr. Melcher uh, at the end of third millennium and beginning of second millennium. The uh, spoken languages, West Luwian, South Luwian, in Kayseri, around Hittite, Hattin, Palaic, Lydian, Kashka, Hurrian, and Semitic. Our region is Luwian. Some known Luwian roots, voices, participles, suffix, which inspire the identification of Luwian toponyms, Asha, and Yemen, and so. These are what I determined. Many, many place toponyms in our region, from Matunasa to Lesbos Island, Mount Leptimnos. The linguist should uh, explore them. These are Mr. Schahermeyer and Finkelberg's map. He found Asha toponyms in Anatolia. And Andy toponyms, these are used Luwian very much. Again, Finkelberg and Schahermeyer's map. This is the Mr. Woodhuizen's map of Western Anatolia toponyms. Are these toponyms are really related to Luwian? The names of the kings of Shehar Riverland, Shehar Riverland of Hittite uh, cuneiform tablets between Kaikos River, Bakurchai, and Gediz, Hermos River. These are the recorded kings of Shehar Riverland. All of them have Luwian names. Muavalvi, Uratar Hunta, Manapatar Hunta, Mashana Uzi, and Tarun Alarot. These are the West Anatolian kings and religious men who name Luwian Louis, names, Luwian dialects or Luwian roots. At the right is a symbol from Egypt, Hittite soldiers. I will show you in the slides uh, Luwian or Anatolian hieroglyphs to respect to them. What does archaeology say about this? This is the map of uh, Kaikos River basin uh, made by German Archaeology Institute show that uh, middle to late Bronze Age settlements. And if we conclude, put the names, known or predictable names of the cities are these. And now uh, I show you uh, linguistically seven of them. Dainish. Dainish is the mount of uh, Kaikos River, which is uh, in classical time, it, its name was Elaia. It's first uh, noted that Stephanus of Byzantium, uh, its name is Kidanis, the former name of Elaia is Kidanis. Then Mr. Goethe Neumann explored that its name is Dainis. Dainis means oil, oily in Luwian language or Luwian languages. And it is very interesting that Elaia, Greeks came, changed the name, put Elaia, but Elaia means olive oil too. And today, Turkish people called Turkish state Zeytinda, oil mountain. Culture goes on. Another one, Madunasa. It's in Sheher River, maybe it's Sheher River Land Center. Uh, Mr. Uh, Roosevelt excavated Canadian uh, archaeologue. It is, uh, he says, this is the biggest uh, late Bronze Age settlement in the Western Anatolia. And Madu means 
wine, honey in Luwian language, and Asha is well known uh, positive maker suffix. It's, it means uh, grape or wine place, and surprisingly, not surprisingly, this region is the grape production center of Turkey. And by the Matunasa, there is Göl Marmara, uh, Gölü, we say, Göl Marmara Lake. And in classical times, its name was Giges Lake. And uh, Spanish scholar Adiego discovered that Giges is a Luwian word, Huha. Huha means grandfather, and it is, exists in Likian and Milian languages as Kuga, Huga. Another settlement, Panastepe, near Izmir, Menemen. And in the excavations, it's seen that uh, Air Canal, Professor Air Canal, uh, said that this city exists in the heated documents as Panisha. And after that, in 1920s maps, he found, she found again the name of Panisha. Panisha may be a Luwian word, as you see. In our region, we see many Asha and Sa names. This indicates directly Luwian. Another one is Pitane, Pitana. Pitane should be Luwian too. Uh, in the morning, we talk about Pitane. There is a uh, Luwian country in the west of uh, Salt Lake, in the center of Anatolia, Pitasha. Hita, I say, Pedasha. Pita, Pita means smooth place in Luwian uh, language. And <coughs> really here, one side, a Kaikos basin, plain, and another side is sea. And Pitanas remains, and very interesting, we call today, Pitana is Çandal in Turkish, but no mean uh, in Turkish. It should be Şandal or Şanta. Şanta is Luwian's war in plague god, maybe, maybe it's the second name, or these times the names are changed. Another interesting one, this is the uh, south edge of uh, Lesbos Island, uh, Greece, here is Greece. Today's Greece say this Cape, Cape Agrilla, but Strabo, Strabo wrote that it was, uh, its name was Malia. Malia is very well known Luwian goddess, and its name survives uh, in, uh, in the Mount Arinanda, there is Melis, and in Lydia, there is Melia Creek. Another one, Imbros Island, we call it Gökçada, north of the Aegean Sea. Uh, it is very interesting. There is another uh, place in Caria, Imbros, Cape, Im Cape Imbros, and there is uh, also personal name, Imbrasos. Uh, the scientist, scholar says that Imara belong to fields, and the uh, Luwians believe very much the god goddess of uh, the open countries, and this must be, this may be, uh, Imros may be Imara, Imarala. We have in uh, an island, another island in the Marmara Sea, Imrala, very famous in Turkey. There is another city, Larissa, uh, Homeros and Strabon mention about it. We have their late Bronze Age remains. And very interesting thing that when Greeks came to Anatolia, the uh, North, uh, North Aegean uh, side, they made Aeolis, Aeolia, this region, and they count 12 Aeolian city. One of them is Greek, the others are native languages, and they attacked Larissa, but they couldn't manage uh, to get it. And 
five kilometers behind Larissa, they made a new city, Neon Kitos. Yes, its name is Greek. This is a nut mount, it's a, it's a rock on the Caicos River, Teftrania, Teftrania. This is mentioned by Strabon and uh, Homeros too, and very mythological stories about that. We call it as Calarga, and some scholars, uh, its name is, is similar to Tutalia. This picture is uh, very important. You see at the right is Hula Hill of Pergama. Hula Hulana have uh, meaning in uh, Luyan. And my family's olives are on this hill. And the left, the ancient city Pergamon. We can uh, try and, and trying to solve the meaning of it. Uh, we propose Parhaman is a Luyan word. And behind them are Madra mountains, uh, classic times, Pindasos. Pindasos should be direct Luwian name, you see, Asha, Asos. And this is very interesting too. This is famous around Pergama city, Apan found. Apan, it's for the hundred years, thousand years it works. Uh, from Ottoman period too, and Apa is spring in Luwian language. Language leaves, toponyms leaves. Another one, um, the peak of Madra Mountain, Pindasos, is named Maya. I propose linguists solve the uh, language. And again, Pindasos, a part of uh, Madra is Pandasos uh, mountains, and we call them as Geikli. Da Geik means uh, deer in uh, Turkish, and deer is very important god in Luwians, Kurunta in the morning, the, the king of Tarhuntasa, king of God, has name Kurunta. This is Kimindenia Plateau in Bergama. And uh, there is Perperna in Kimindenia. These, these are not Greek, not Roman, but uh, has, uh, seems to have Luwian sounds. Another one, Parthenon, Aliana, Ilia River. These are significant. Pergamon, Parhaman, we make close relation with Parha of Antalya, we call it as Perge today. It's, it should be, we will uh, publish it soon. A simple village, Sindel village, no meaning in Turkish and in other languages, but it has Luwian sounds. Another one, Alisarna near Kaikos. And before Kaikos, its name is, Kaikos is Greek name, Astra River. Astra has also Luwian sounds. This is Atarna. Atarna is Aristoteles city. Aristoteles lived there many times. And it seems have Luwian sounds. And all of them have late Bronze Age remainings. Another one, Atea. You know, Atta, uh, father in Hiti, Tata in Luwian. This is, this is a mount, not mount, a uh, city. And Antandros by the uh, Adramitium Gulf near Ida Mountain. And uh, it's mentioned by Strabon, Lelex lived there, Pelascos lived there, and it's famous with the Ionet after Troy fall, Ionet takes its tribe from Antandros to Etruria in the morning, it's discussed. 
This is the Greek islands. This is Laspa. Laspa Gurshavar. In heated documents, it's Gurshavar is uh, island in Luwien. Uh, it's it seems it's a part of Shaha River uh, land. And this is the most ancient city of Lesbos Island. Now today's name is Termi, uh, but has very heavy late bronze remains, remains and maybe they say the center of the Laspa Island is Mytilene. Mytilene should be uh, close uh, sounds Muatali because Muatali conquered the island. This is another picture of Termi. And this is another place in Lesbos Island, Antisha. Antisha has clear Luwian sounds. These are references. I thank you for your attention.